Hello. We have a two o'clock appointment with Dr. Ashley. The name is Zbornak. My name's not Zbornak. My name is Deborah. Yes, but the appointment is in the name of Zbornak. Why is the appointment in your name? It was my idea to get counseling. Fine, fine. <laughs> Take the appointment for Zbornak and change it to Nyland. You satisfied? No, the appointment should be under Devereaux. The appointment should be under Nyland. Change it back to Zbornak. Put it on Delipsius and buzz the head shrinker. We got an emergency here. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. I'm Dr. Ashley. Won't you come into my office? I'm Sophia Petrillo, and my idea of a good psychiatrist is a bartender who pours without a spout. <laughs> Doctor, I'm Dorothy's born now. Dorothy? I'm Rose Nyland. Rose. I'm Blanche Devereaux, and I know it's not pertinent at the moment, but I'm double-jointed. <laughs> That's very interesting. Dr. Ashley, the reason we came to the counseling center is that we're roommates and we've been having problems at home that we need to work out. Before we get to the nitty gritty, why don't you all tell me a little bit about yourselves? Fine. I'm a teacher. I'm divorced. I am a widow. No man would leave me unless he absolutely had to. <laughs> I'm 41 years old, I'm 5'6", I weigh 108 pounds, and my hair is its natural hue. Oh. Sure, Blanche, yours and Lucy's. <laughs> what about you, Rose? Well, to be perfectly honest, I use a touch of peroxide. <laughs> shut up, Rose. You shut up! Now, stop it! Stop it! I cannot stand it anymore! You know what I can't stand anymore? That phony accent of yours. What is this, designing women? <laughs> Doctor, we have been together for five years, and we're just getting on each other's nerves. Why? Why is that? Because Dorothy is impossible to live with. That's right. The real problem is you, Blanche. You are selfish. Oh, please. Everybody says what a giving person I am. She's talking about when you're in an upright position. <laughs> I spent the rest of the evening going in and out of consciousness while a guy with a silver tooth and a scorpion tattoo on his arm tried to grope me through the Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> oh, stop your complaining. Mike was a very nice man. He burned down a diner in Arkansas because his eggs were runny. <laughs> Blanche, I think you owe Dorothy an apology. Oh, shut up, Rose. Don't you tell me to shut up. Okay, I will. Shut up, Rose. <laughs> Doctor, you see the way they always pick on me? They're always telling me to shut up. Why is that? Well, it could be. I mean, every be. time I open my mouth to express an opinion... Rose. They jump on me. I mean, they say I babble. I don't babble. I mean, people who babble are the... Shut up, Rose. <laughs> I think things would be more productive if we conducted things in a more orderly fashion. But you see what we have to put up with. She's an airhead. Oh, yeah, well, you're a barbell. That's a dumbbell, you twit. <laughs> It didn't turn out so well, but it was an honest mistake. Besides, something good came out of it. We learned to make souvlaki. <laughs> the point is, Rose, you do this kind of stupid thing all the time. And if you're not doing something stupid, you're saying something stupid, or wearing something stupid, or cooking something stupid. Rose, what do you think of Blanche saying these things? I think she's a girl karma knocking. <laughs> well, what exactly does that mean? Literally, it's the precise moment when dog dude turns white. <laughs> but in general, it refers to the kind of person you don't want to share your hoogan coggles with. Rose, if you say one more of those stupid words, I'll so help out your tube and burbles. <laughs> <laughs> 